What's up, party people? It's Big Tune here. We're not doing all right today. Today we are installing a new skid plate that my wife bought me for Christmas. I'm pretty happy about that because uh, this is what I have right now uh, for a skid plate, the, the factory one. And it's peeling. Every time I hit something, it peels back because it's, it's, it's very thin. I don't know if you see it right there. Just this little piece of plastic right there. You can actually see here a little bit better the damage that my current skid plate has and these just don't, like I gotta get the zip ties around here somewhere. Now oh, there's one right there, that's a zip tie. And the piece is gone. That thing just keeps peeling back. I've zip tied it so many times. There's a big peel in the back there. I don't know what I hit, but I hit something hard. So this piece is going out now. As you can see, this new one, it is a lot thicker. For example, this is my old arm guard and this is my new arm guard. So yeah, that's going to be a hell of a difference. I think this one's maybe two or three millimeters. This is eight millimeters. Uh, directly from the CF Moto website, made specifically, mind the mess, my kids come in here, made specifically for this uh, U4600. And I'm gonna save so much money on zip ties, because I hate zip tying those every time that they break and I zip tie them every ride. Uh, there's a Chihuahua, folks. And let's see if we can do this before the before Christmas. There's another little comparison. This is the piece I just took off. And this is the new piece. I suppose it was like that to match. But you can really see the difference in the thickness in these. So, Whew. Thank you, Mrs. Tuna. It uh, makes me very, very happy to have this gift.
little belly rub. Uh, good chihuahua. glue washers to the mountain hole on a skate plate. It's craft time.
as we can see, everything is now installed. Nice and shiny. That looks like a mirror, but it's actually the skip plate. Nice and shiny skip plate. I got three bolts and retainers left over. I think those are just extras because there's no empty holes anywhere here. Nice and shiny until I hit the trail. But this is going to be a lot better because this is just one big piece right there, front to back, one big piece. And then you got the piece on the on each side, but it's not a bunch of little two millimeter thick plastic pieces. And this is really going to help with uh, if I hit a rock or a branch, stop this from peeling back and exposing components that could get damaged. It's going to save me a lot of money on zip ties. And I like that. Oh, let me get up here. It kind of covers on the bottom right there and so right there in the wheel wells in the back too a little bit extra protection with that and hopefully that might also stop the water from splashing into the cab when we hit a puddle splash so the skip plate installation is done i'm not seeing any missing pieces here and it's very very simple even an idiot like me can do it uh it took me three days but that's because i was doing it on my lunch break and my 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 work breaks and a little 15 minute break and stuff like that and uh it's also the first day of winter yesterday so it's minus 17 with the wind chill I don't know. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but minus 17 degrees Celsius with the wind. So it's kind of cold. Uh, if you have a garage and just maybe two or three hours, it's not going to take you that long. Two or three hours. It's not going to take you three days like it did for me. Uh, but yeah, the installation is very, very simple. The instructions are pretty simple. You just take out the old one, put on the new one. That's about it. Peace out, everyone. Until the next time.